So as everybody knows, the NFL just announced the Pro Bowl rosters as of yesterday, based on the fan vote. And four of our Minnesota Vikings made it in this year. That's going to be Adam Thielen, Xavier Rhodes, Anthony Barr, and Everson Griffin. All very deserving. But there was, there was, there was a Viking that uh, everyone was very confused as to why he didn't make the Pro Bowl. And I think you know who I'm talking about. Where the hell is Harrison Smith? Are you kidding me? Stuff like this is one of the main reasons that people are starting to hate the Pro Bowl more and more every single year. You know, you have guys that do deserve to get into the Pro Bowl, like Carson Wentz, Todd Gurley, or Adam Thielen, guys that perform really well. But then you got guys like Harrison Smith, who are basically the best at their position, and they're not getting in because they and their own team are not getting attention in the national media, so nobody knows about them. If It's like if you're not on the Patriots or the Seahawks or a team like that, then you can forget about getting in the Pro Bowl. I mean, if you look at who really did get in, Earl Thomas was one of the safeties that got in for the NFC. He hasn't played for like a majority of the year because he's been injured. But since he's on the Seahawks and they're big in the national market for the National Football League, he got in. And I know as a diehard football fan, I really shouldn't care about who does and who doesn't get into the Pro Bowl since it is a popularity test. But it really does push my buttons when you get a guy like Harrison Smith, who according to Pro Football Focus is ranked number 7 in yards allowed per coverage snap at .29. He's uh, tied 5th uh, in his overall coverage grade with an 89.5. And he is 1st in run defense grade with a 93.6. His overall grade's a 94.6, which is the highest of any safety this year. Now, that's not free safety because that's what he plays. That is... All safeties, strong safeties and free safeties. So when you have stats like this and you're just so good at what you do, I mean, it, it is kind of annoying when, you know, things don't go your way, but I digress. And I guess I also can't get too mad because like, who cares about the Pro Bowl? When Harrison Smith gets voted first team all pro, I won't be too upset. But if you take all of those amazing stats away from Harrison Smith, which I don't know why you would do, if you look at the Vikings schedule, and who they played and at what time they played people, it makes sense that, you know, some of our players didn't get recognized for Pro Bowl voting, like Harrison Smith. Uh, you can think of Linval Joseph uh, and even Case Keenum. Those guys didn't get in either. But, I mean, when you take a look at the schedule, oh, would you look at that? Monday Night Football to shut out the season. Great time to get some recognition. Oh, wait. It was against the Saints before they were good. Okay, week two. Uh, looks like we're facing the Steelers. That's good. That's a good team. We can really prove ourselves. Oh, it's at noon. All right, what do we got for week five? Oh, Monday Night Football again for week five. Sweet. Ah, damn it. It's the Bears. There we go. Border battle against the Green Bay Packers. Ah, oh, wait. It's noon, and Aaron Rodgers went down in the first quarter. No one cares. Oh, and now we got a primetime game in London. Are you kidding me? It's the Browns. Something's got to give. Oh, the Rams in week 11. Two really good teams. Oh, it's at noon. Two good teams again in week 14. Carolina. Oh, noon. You see what I'm getting at? A majority of football fans, people that watch football, they're not, they're not going to have Sunday NFL ticket or any of those other cable packages that allow you to watch every single game every single Sunday and Monday. They only show certain games depending on your area. So, you know, if you're on one side of the U.S., you're going to see this game at this time. But if you're on a different side of the U.S., you're going to see a different game at a different time. If your game's at noon, it's only going to be shown in your area and then maybe one other depending on the game. Which is what most of the Vikings games have been. They have been noon games a majority of the time. And that's where we've been facing all of the good teams. And any time that we get a game later in the day or even primetime like Monday night or Sunday night football, even the Thursday game, that wasn't Thursday, um, the Sunday morning game against the Browns. When you get teams like that, nobody's going to care. And that's what all of our primetime games have been. Teams that nobody cares about. And when nobody cares to watch your game or even like watch highlights or read up on the stats of it and see who perform well, then they're not going to see who perform well. Case in point, Harrison Smith. It also doesn't help when you have like some of the storylines and headlines of our team this year. When you have a guy like Adam Thielen who like made the team on a tryout and is now like a top five wide receiver in the NFC. And then you got a guy like Case Keenum who is supposed to be our third string quarterback and he has already led us to a division title and will probably lead us to a first round bye at the very least. Nothing else is going to really matter, which sucks for Harrison Smith. 
But in the end of it all, it doesn't really even matter because every single one of the Vikings who did make the Pro Bowl, they won't be playing in the Pro Bowl. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope this brought a little light into the situation. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see every one of you in the next video.